What is up you great people? We are coming back with a double upload today and it's going to be epic. We watch as Vader comes back to Tatooine for the first or second time by this point and starts to remember things, starts to fall in love with his home planet again. This moment came when he realized that he was the only hero or noteworthy person to have ever come out of Tatooine. This is the moment Vader realized how special was his connection to Tatooine and started to forgive and maybe perhaps like Sand again. Merry Sithmas, my Sith Lords, and it's Christmas then for all of you naughty people out there. Check out the merch link in bio. The Vader and Tatooine bromance starts when he entered in hard negotiations with Jabba the Hutt. They all live to serve the Emperor. Knowing full well the ego of the Empire, Jabba complimented Vader and told him that now he understands why the Emperor sent him. How could he deny his friend Palpatine in such a time of need? when their precious Death Star had been destroyed. But quickly Vader diverted, told him that those are just rebel propaganda and to not talk about it anymore. All he has to do is accept the terms and that's it. <laughs> of course, said Jabba, but as Vader was about to leave, he told the Dark Lord of the Sith to not go so soon. When Jabba the Hutt concludes business, he loves to see something die afterwards. With that in mind, they headed for the Dune Sea. The guards were shooting banthas for fun, especially to entertain Jabba, with Salacious Crumb laughing on the side. Vader was so irritated that he told Jabba that if he values his pet, he better shut him up immediately. Jabba laughed. He likes Vader. He was very glad that they had become friends now. You presume too much, said Vader, but Jabba persisted. Even though he is here on the behalf of the Emperor, it doesn't mean that he won't gain from this as well. He serves the Emperor, but the old man doesn't need to know everything Vader is doing to serve him. He went on to ask Vader how the bounty hunters Jabba sent were working for him. These two bounty hunters were Boba Fett and Black Kersantan. Again, link in the description. At this point, Vader became a bit irritated. He had asked Jabba that in confidence and there is no more speaking of this, but the HUD was having his way. He told him that we are not talking right now, we are just hearing Banthas die. You can clearly see that Vader is very patient at this moment, he wasn't his usual angry self. He continued telling Jabba that the bounty hunters have their tasks. One is simple, find Solo, but the other bounty hunter had to find a boy. Jabba knew that he was talking about the boy who destroyed the Death Star. Furthermore, if Kenobi will really help this boy, then that boy might fancy himself as a Jedi. The Jedi are gone, said Vader. To the pleasure of Jabba, that is why they were even better friends now. No more Jedi to hassle him. Kenobi, said Vader, tell me everything you heard about him. In my opinion, another reason why Vader was, let's say, not getting friendly with Jabba, but simply tolerated him, which was friendly enough. Jabba was pleased to tell him everything, but one thing he couldn't believe, how could a simple boy who destroyed the Death Star have come from this empty desert of a planet? Who knew that anyone of note was ever born on Tatooine? However, Jabba had no idea who he was really talking to. The Tatooine native that one day was going to free all slaves and save his mother. Long gone was he. Alright guys, that's it for this issue. We continued on from issue number 2 and 3. This is issue number 4 from the Star Wars Comics 2015. Did you guys enjoy this conversation between Vader and Jabba? And what did you think about the two of them working together? Would you like to see that type of a series? I think that would be just awesome to see and funny. Jabba talkative and Vader just standing, talking rarely. Leave any thoughts you might have down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have an awesome day my friends and may the force be with you always.